My name is Nicholas Smith, and I live in Los Angeles, California, and I am a full-time artivist and illustrator. An artivist, I feel, is somebody who uses their art to really inspire people to make a positive change. For 11 years, I was a theme park designer, and I would go home nights and weekends and create art. I was scheduled to start on the upcoming Black Panther film as an illustrator the day before Chadwick died. And all I could do was turn to my tablet for art as therapy and um, make a piece for, for Chadwick. It became a mural at Disneyland and, and now it's at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. That's the thing about art. I think it just it just has that opportunity to really bring us all together. Welcome, Nicholas Smith from Los Angeles, California. Nicholas, oh my goodness, what a beautiful mural. I know you call yourself an artivist. Explain for people who've never heard that term what that means. I do call myself an artivist. Thank you for having me. Um, so artivism, I, I see it as really just using art to inspire people to make a positive change. Um, if you look in the world, there's a million things that are wrong and broken, and I want to inspire people to, you know, to do something positive, to maybe, you know, put their name on this petition or, or contact their district attorney or just see people as people. And uh, I'm just glad that my art can do that. You know? And it does. Um, you were talking about that beautiful dedication to Chadwick Boseman. You called it King Chad. Um, creating that sounds like it helped, obviously, in the grieving process for yourself, the timing of it and what you were looking forward to, and yet being met by reality of loss. Yeah, um, just being able to to meet Chadwick Boseman on set and to see how he treated us as kings, you know, King T'Challa treating us as kings and queens, it was beautiful. And then, you know, for him to be gone, like, I just wanted to continue that legacy, that kind of that heart, especially that heart for children that he had. Yeah. Um, just wanted to continue that in any way that I could. And and what I do is I sketch, I I paint. That's that's the talent that I have that that I feel like helps heal the world. And so that I felt like I had to do something. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make this art piece that kind of, you know, continues his legacy. To see it on display at Disneyland knowing that your history and, and as an Imagineer, what did that mean for you? That was such a special moment. Um, you know, I worked for years um, coming up with designs for, you know, Wakanda-related designs and other things. And, you know, once I decided I'm going to step out on my own and just be an artist full-time, um, for then this to happen, and now all of a sudden, my designs are back at, in Disneyland. It was kind of a full circle moment. Oh my gosh. Uh, you have a lot of fans out there, including former First Lady Michelle Obama. Um, what is it like to have such great fans, famous fans, admiring your work and also, though, the heart behind the beauty? Yeah, especially the, the pieces that Michelle Obama shared, um, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, those portraits that I did. Um, for her to use that platform that she has to to share those pieces. And a lot of times people will tell me, like, your art is therapy. Your art helps me speak about the things that I don't really know how to, you know, say what I want to say sometimes. And, you know, I'm just going to share your art because it speaks to, you know, that moment. And for years, I've just been creating what I call Sunday sketches that really reflect all the craziness that's happening in the world and, you know, just holding up a mirror to what's happening. And, you know, to see people, especially people like the Obamas use their platform, it's just, it's so special. Yeah, um, your, your Sunday sketches are so powerful. And I know that we are about to reveal a Sunday sketch that you made, especially for us. I have not seen it. Can you tell us about it? I can. Um, you know, a lot of times with, with my art, um, I want to create tributes, you know, especially for people who are no longer here who can't speak for themselves. Um, and so uh, this is not just someone who has passed, but somebody who is very much alive and very much youthful and joyful and, and still with us. And so I connected the two things. It's called um, Moses and Uncle Andre. Um, it's your son, 
And he has this book um, called Uncle Andre. And your post just touched me and it reminded me of, you know, just the special connection that especially, you know, creatives have with young folks. And that's a lot of what I do in my picture books, you know, as a children's book author and illustrator. I, you know, I love the I love the connection with young folks. And I just wanted to, um, you know, commemorate that moment. Um, and, you know, I know he was a special person in your life and all of our lives. So, well, I um, had no idea that I mean, they my team told me you were doing a photo of Moses, potentially. I had no idea that it was this. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, thanks, Thank guys. So I wasn't much. prepared for that. Nicholas, you are amazing, and this is beautiful. I have no words to describe seeing what you created, what that means. What an honor for Moses, and what a beautiful tribute. Thank you uh, so much, Nicholas, and congratulations. Can you believe you get paid to do this amazing job? You know, um, a lot of people, you know, especially when you're young, they say, you know, stop doodling and focus on your work. And, you know, I now I, I feel like I left my dream job to just doodle and sketch and paint and, you know, put creativity out there. And, you know, it is I still I pinch myself. I, I can't believe that I'm doing what I'm doing. And um, I'm just honored to be able to, to do this every day and get paid for it. Well, it's an honor to have you on. It's an honor to celebrate your work and all that you've done. And listen, I was not prepared for this. I'm so sorry, Nicholas. I'm just about to cry tears of joy. I, my, my whole body core temperature has gone up probably 40 degrees just because my heart is racing. I'm seeing such a beautiful creation. Thank you. Um, and I can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, it. Gosh.